series of English language lessons. And our discussion today is going to be about the negative form of the gerund and its interrogative form, or in other words, the question. Uh, before we actually go to the details, let's pay attention to the conversation here between a husband and a wife. So the wife um, is telling her husband, could you please stop watching TV and finally start doing something? And the husband is answering, I can't miss watching this soccer game. It's like skipping your breakfast. Um, again, it's just a fun illustration of how do we use the gerund form in an everyday conversation. And in order to learn more, uh, make sure you watch my video till the very end. The negative form and the questions are often used in our conversation, like we have here in our example. Do you enjoy working with children? I don't like tutoring high school kids, but I love teaching young children. So we have the question form here, do enjoy working. We have a negative form here, don't like tutoring. And we have an affirmative form, love teaching. Since today we are discussing the negative form, uh, we would look first uh, at its formation. So the formation is a little bit complicated because this part of the sentence has a long structure. So we have to pay attention to the way the words are in the sentence. We start with the subject, then we have an auxiliary verb and negative particle, not as long as we talk about the negative form. Then we use the verb and a gerund. The gerund is a verb plus ing. And here, let's look at our sentence. I don't consider going. You shouldn't avoid choosing. We can't keep trying. They must not regret having. He doesn't think about skipping. She might not expect passing. It may not continue working. Again, it's a long sentence, but as long as you stick to the parts that constitute that sentence, you won't make a mistake. And again, some practical um, usage of this form within the sentence. It is almost the break time, but I shouldn't stop working. I need to finish my project today. Shouldn't stop working. And if you look at uh, this example, I would love to you to pay attention to the verbs like shouldn't and stop working. So stop working is a gerund and shouldn't is auxiliary verb plus negative particle not. So basically there is like two parts that's gonna be an easier form for you to understand. The next one, Susan must not regret inviting her friends for a birthday. They brought so many luxurious presents. Same here, we have a part must not, which is auxiliary verb and a negative particle not. And I will underline the gerund, regret inviting, must not regret inviting. Jeff can't stop thinking about his previous girlfriend. He still loves her. So we have can't is auxiliary verb and negative particle not and the gerund, stop thinking. So let's move on to the next slide. So here we are going to discuss the questions. In a form of a question, we start with the auxiliary verb, we move to our subject, we have the verb and the gerund. So the auxiliary verb could be different. We could use do or can or should or does or may or can or something else. So any of the auxiliary verbs and we use the subject, the regular verb, and a gerund. Do you avoid choosing? 
Can we keep trying? Should they regret having? Does he think about skipping? May she expect passing? Can it continue working? Does Jenny plan on signing up for the advanced English classes? Yes, she does. She finishes taking an intermediate level and applying for the next one. So we have a question form. Does plan on signing up? And we have an affirmative form. Finishes taking and applying. Should we consider moving to another state? No, we shouldn't risk changing our location yet. First, we must begin looking for a real estate agent in order to sell our house. So again, we have the auxiliary verb should consider moving. That's a question form. Shouldn't risk changing. That's a negative form. Must begin looking an affirmative form. And finally, we have a conversation between Abby and Sarah. Let's read the conversation and pay attention to the words that are highlighted in red color because they are examples of the gerund that is used in the negative form or, or um, is used as a question. Do you miss living in New York? Not really. I don't regret moving to Los Angeles. I still continue doing my job since I'm working online. It looks like you prefer living in big cities. Is that true? Yes, it is true. I love shopping and going out. I hate staying at home all the time. Therefore, Megalopolis works great for me. Would you suggest me joining you and the active city life? I would definitely recommend changing your lifestyle. So this is all the information for today, my dear friends. Again, thank you so much for being with me. And if you like this video, please don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. Uh, make sure you subscribe to our channel and share it with your friends. And if you want to get more information, uh, visit our website and um, sign up for our classes here at Highlands Community Charter and Technical Schools. Goodbye.